think it's all, it's all about process. You know, we probably didn't execute on our plans as well as um, we had in the previous game, but um, that's the nature of playing against a very, very strong team. You know, and credit to India for bouncing back real strong after the, the game before that. Um, that's exactly what you'd expect from a world leading team. So, yeah, it's, it starts becoming mental now um, rather than physical. Our players are in a very good space. Um, so, we're very hopeful tomorrow um, and we're very positive about tomorrow. Firstly, uh, how do you rate this unit as a team inside? Uh, secondly, there have been a lot of half chances and uh, errors on the part of the West Indies which they couldn't cash in on, especially when it came to Virat Kohli. So, what is the message that you give after the game in terms of bringing them back? Look, in any skill, it's we practice the skill hard. Um, we put in a lot of detail into what we do in fielding, in fact, in, in any of our skills. And in the, in the game, you just got to execute those skills. You know, these guys, last time I checked, they were human beings, not robots. So um, you are going to make errors under pressure. That's the nature of the game. The important thing is to have selective amnesia and to come back stronger in the next game. I thought we, um, we fielded pretty, pretty well in the last game. And, you know, credit must go to guys like Fabian Allen, Hetmeyer, Rodman Powell. We've got a, a lot of very, very good fielders in this group. Um, and those are the guys we look to to uh, lift the energy in the field and, and we'll look to those guys again. But um, certainly the guys work very, very hard on their fielding and the attention to detail and the, the quality of the fielding fall to my head. So, um, you know, if we don't feel field well, I'll put my hand up, take responsibility for it and we move on. Nick, uh, the batting calculated three uh, quickly in the last game. Do you think that came down to mental fatigue because you've been Look, it's a it's a possibility, but you know, traveling to India, India is always a wonderful tour, and it's a, it's a great tour to um, to judge yourself on as a player, as a coach, um, and it's a great tour to let yourself know where exactly you're at with your cricket. You know, it's going to be tough when you come here. I was very fortunate to tour here last year with Sri Lanka, um, so I've had the experience before. Um, at the end of the day, we're all professionals. Uh, every time we walk out onto the field. You've got to make sure your routines are good, you've got to make sure your processes are good, and you've got to, you've got to compete. So, yeah, it's a possibility, um, but today's a great rest day for us, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, our guys are professional. So, tomorrow comes, we're, we're back on it. Hi. Hey, um, so, Rohit Sharma has been playing well for the last few weeks. Look, if I have special plans, which we do, I'm certainly not going to put them out in the media. <laughs> but having said that, you know, they're world-class cricketers, they're world-class. Um, you know, you, you can't go without mentioning guys like Shikadawa and Royudu's on form. You know, you've got a lot of fantastic players, that's why India is such a strong team, you know. And as I said last year, as I'm saying again, they're a great team to learn from. You know, we don't just play against India, we learn from India too. So, um, you know, these are great opportunities when you come and play against um, teams of this quality. Uh, it's a relatively young side. So, uh, so far in this on this tour, on these four games over here, what are the strengths and weaknesses that, uh, and areas of concern and uh, the pleasant points for the team that you focus? Look, it's a very young team. You know, not just from an international point of view, but also from a volume of 50 over cricket point of view. Um, I think like anything, you know, when you play a game at this level, whatever sport it may be, it's always going to come to execution over a long period of time. And we've seen that we can execute for short periods of time. The challenge is always going to be to be able to execute for 100 overs. If you want to beat India or England or Australia, Pakistan, you've got to execute for 100 overs. And that takes physical ability, it takes skill ability, it takes mental ability. Um, and fitness certainly comes into it. Now, you, fitness, when you tour here, we get Bangladesh next, we have a little break, then we play in uh, England in the Caribbean. There's a lot of cricket coming up. So physical fitness is always going to aid your recovery, it's going to aid your decision making, and it's going to aid your execution. So, you know, our young guys are learning all the time. Um, they're having to learn at an international level, which is never easy. Um, but they're getting better all the time, and most importantly, they're open to that learning. So, um, you know, we're very positive on them. So, Nick, what are your thoughts on the ground and the weather here? Uh, I like heat. 
especially from the, from the point of view that I could be in the UK where it's now starting to get cold. Um, you know, the humidity is what you'd expect. We're not very far from Sri Lanka, so the weather's pretty similar. This is an amazing ground. Um, certainly we're very excited about playing here tomorrow. You know, the wicket looks good, but um, phenomenal ground. Look, Jason is a is a world class performer, um, and you've seen that here. Uh, the way he leads, he leads by example on the field. He's a very very good leader of this group. Um, he commands a lot of respect, and he commands a high quality from this group. Um, and he's very very well respected in the group. You know, his performances speak for themselves. As I said, he's a world class performer, and he's vitally important to this team. So, you know, we we would want to have him on the field every day, 365 days of the year, 24-7 if we could. But as I said at the beginning, he's a human being, he's not a robot. Um, the, the, the one thing we don't have in the West Indies, which you do have in India and from uh, you know, England, Australia, is you've got depth. So you can rest players um, and you're going to have real quality coming through behind them. Unfortunately, we're not in that place at the moment where we can just rest players when we want to, but we've got to be realistic as well. You know, Jason plays a lot of cricket um, and it's not just what he does on the field, you know, as a leader and as a captain, he's doing a lot of work off the field as well. Um, but certainly, you know, I love working with Jason. We have a fantastic relationship um, and long may that continue. One more question. Nick, if I might be a part of the swing team, uh, that's very As I say, they, they, they're a world-class team. Um, you know, I love the way they go about planning. You know, I've, I've got a good relationship with their coaching staff as well as some of their players. So I'm very aware of how they're going about planning, and I, I love the way they go about you know their work on a day-to-day -day basis and how they plan into the future and the standards that they they expect of their team. This team's always going to look to improve, and it comes from Virat and from their coaching staff. You know, it's. It's definitely a, a role model type of leadership system. Uh, so you're always going to see people improve. And it's, it's pretty obvious when, when young guys come into this team, they get comfortable really quickly, they learn very quickly, and they get up to speed very quickly. Yes, they have the skill level to be able to do that. But um, you know that comes from coming into a winning environment and into an environment where your senior players are mentors to these young kids. So that's the reason why they at the top of their game in all three formats, and they will be for a long period of time.